This video will show you how to use Chain Editor. In the Presets tab, we choose a preset which is in the user collection. In this case, we will edit Human Herpes Virus Chain as an example. We click the pencil icon to open the Chain Editor. On the right side of the Chain Preset Editor window, we can see the preset list of human herpes virus chain. On the bottom left corner, it displays the number of total presets and the estimated time of whole preset chain. We can click the addition button to import a new preset or preset chain. and the subtraction button is for deleting the preset we selected. The arrow pointing upwards button moves the selected child presets up in the list, and the arrow pointing downwards button moves the selected child presets down in the list. There are eight tabs on the right side of the window. The preset tab includes the name, repeat chain, run for, one from, stop when complete, and time. Name is the name of the preset we selected. We want to change it to human herpes virus 001. Repeat chain is the number of times the entire chain preset repeats. However, it is not really a property of the selected child presets. The run for property is the time and hours that the child preset will run for. If we set it to 2, it will run for 2 hours and go to the next preset. Run from is the start time of the preset. Run to is the end time of the preset. For example, if we set the start time and end time to 8am and 10am respectively, the preset will only run from 8am to 10am. The default value is midnight. If stop when complete is checked and either run for or run to are in use, the program will not stop at the end time but will stop when the program is complete instead. Time is the duration of the preset. The notes text box contains the comments or notes for a preset. If you are editing a note and would like to exit, press the ESC escape key on your keyboard. In the Programs tab, we can set the repeat sequence, dwell multiplier, frequency multiplier, sort frequencies, remove duplicate frequencies, apply tissue factor, and run padding or spacer frequency. If repeat sequence is zero, the child preset repeats forever and will not go to the next preset. In the signal tab, we can set duty cycle, amplitude, offset, phase angle, and gate. We can set the amplitude frequency and harmonic wobble on wobble tab. In the Contact tab, we can set the properties to make contact mode less painful. The amplitude ramp is a time in seconds to gently ramp up or ramp down a frequency. For example, if we set to 5 seconds, the amplitude will reach the highest voltage or reduce to 0 volts in 5 seconds when the software runs each frequency. The Reduce Amplitude checkbox reduces the amplitude under the frequency limit you provided in the text box. If the preset or preset chain is not running for contact mode, then we don't need to set it. Next step is to specify the frequency limits for OUT1 and OUT2. The greater than sign specifies the maximum frequency 
and the less than sign specifies the minimum frequency. You can set the harmonic type here too. Last tab is shadowing. This multi-purpose pane allows you to slave out two to out one. Create any carrier, specify a voltage for each output, swap waveform frequencies and amplitudes between outputs, and slave to another generator. Generally, we don't need to set a signal, wobble, frequency limits, and shadowing. For more details, we can go to the Help menu, click Help. It will open a page about the introduction. After all is set properly, we can go to the file menu to save the new setting. If we click the save button, it will overwrite the original preset or preset chain. If we click save as, it will be saved as a new preset or preset chain. We click save as and give it a new name, human herpes virus chain 002. Click Save to save it. Final step, go back to the Preset tab. We will see the Human Herpes Virus Chain 002 in the User Collection. Thank you for watching this video.